here we are out in the flatlands here between some mountains in beautiful Columbia. I am riding today with Karen. So the setup is Karen and I decided we're going to do kind of a little three day loop through here. Um, so we're all riding this morning because we're kind of heading out the same way to start. So that makes it easy. Um, so I think we're all just going to ride, get breakfast and a coffee, and then they'll be going a different way than Kara and I. So yeah. Said I'm too wide. Yeah, really wide. <laughs> So this is our first stop here. We're having some breakfast. Everybody's here, kind of. If my head's not in the way. Happy, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Happy. We're in the mountains. Yep. So now we're now we're in the mountains. We're riding some little roads after we got through that little bit of traffic. So now it's time to go have fun after we get some breakfast. Denim jeans, broken dreams in my pocket. Couldn't think around my neck like a locket. Carve your name in my mind Cause you caught it You caught it we started by riding the small road into Finlandia, a charming small town in the mountains. Buenos dias. Uh, no, no hablo español. Gracias. Bienvenidos a Finlandia. <laughs> cool ride. That, that was a fun one. We are at our first stop here, so it's Kara and I. And we are in this awesome little town. We stopped here, we're gonna get a cup of coffee before we get riding again. Welcome to the charming little town of Sardinto. So this is the main square here. So what the plan is, is this is actually where we're gonna stay tonight later, uh, but I think we're gonna go try to do some off-roading and get up to a volcano and to the wax palms and things like that. We're just stopping in here to get some money and water and things like that. My batteries died just as we left town. I don't have any footage of the off-road ride, but the ride from Sorlinto to Toche is an absolutely amazing ride. Let me show you a bit from my phone of what I captured. Valley de Coca, these are the wax palms, the tallest palm trees in the world. They go way up there. <laughs> so, what a cool spot.
John, how many beers did we need after today? We're going to need all the beers. Not just a pint? No. Is this what we need after today? The silence fades into the night. Coyotes say at the moonlight These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape It was a holiday weekend in Colombia, but leaving Salento in the morning, we'd headed into the Valley de Cacora, famous for its wax palms and picturesque views. We thought we would see what it was like. Feel the wind touch our face Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape yeah, I mean, it's pretty here, but top tip is if you have an adventure bike or capable, take the frickin' dirt road to, to to Toshe and you get to see these palm trees like this in a valley that's similar and you'll be the only one there. This is totally an Instagram versus reality place, huh? Yeah, we didn't even stop. We just uh, turned around. We're heading back out. There's no point in even trying. Let's bit of a bust huh um, yeah i mean we, we knew it was going to be busy being a holiday weekend but that was just nuts That night, we met up with Michael and Leanne from New Zealand. They would follow us the next day into Donkey Sunrise. The group of us went to the Thermales, or Hot Springs, in Santa Rosa. All right. Well, good morning. We are leaving where we stayed. Um, you may notice there's three bikes now. Kara and I met up with some New Zealanders who were who are going to be staying at the same place that we are. So, well, we were out. We said we would meet up with them and ride them in on the last day since we know where it's at. So we're doing that. But we stayed at this hotel so we could go to the thermal pools. And that was fun. But what an experience because there was gazillions of Colombians there being a holiday weekend and we went on the night session so it was a it was an experience to say the least but uh yeah you, you, you kind of give up the notion of personal space when you go to pools like that in Colombia. <laughs> But you may have noticed by now that uh, every one of my Colombian videos has roads like this. This is just motorcycle heaven. Oh, this must be a nice part of town. See, there's some of the nice houses I've seen in Colombia, if I'm real honest. Woo! Yeah, guarded. We're staying out all night under endless skies Living our lives, put your hand in mine We're doing all the things that money can't buy Yeah, we're never... Hey, Bonita! It's Mountain Roads! Sure. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, I see some mess. <laughs> 
Such a fun little stretch of road. Coffee country here. From here, we would ride back to Donkey Sunrise as a group. But what an incredible three days getting to ride and see some of Colombia's most adventurous and beautiful areas. This is a trip that I will never forget, and I got to see some places that I never thought that I would. Yesterday